Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, all glory be to God, we are together again. I pray you all are doing well and blessed, and I'm I'm so happy to be back with you. I do have a tough subject to share, but it's important. And uh, I know that God led me to this information to share it with you. It is... Um, I say it's time sensitive because it's happening right now. It's happening quickly. This is a confirmation uh, to a dream that the Lord gave me in 2018 uh, that I've shared here um, that I believe I had no idea. You know, when these dreams come from the Lord, He doesn't tell me when. And he doesn't, he doesn't explain himself. <laughs> no, he shouldn't have to. But you know what I mean? Like, so I don't know exactly when. So I just keep watching because that's what we're supposed to do. Amen. So uh, this is a confirmation to a dream. But also, this is an update. And I have to be very careful with my words. Uh, I apologize for the background noise. Um, I'm in the back part of the house and it's a little louder back here. Um, I try to muffle what I can. Uh, so I hope you can hear me okay. Um, but uh, thank you for your patience with me. I, I appreciate you just even hanging out with me. Um, I, I, I appreciate... Oh! I appreciate you all. Okay, I'm going to get to it. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, this is an update to the jab. Uh, more information has come through and also some critical thinking um, about this process. And I have to be very careful with my words because it's a sensitive matter and it's current. Um, like my dreams are dreams and they're subjective uh, you know, comparing to the Bible, to the Word of God, as well as, um, you know, we can fellowship over it and discuss the dreams. But this is actually current events when I talk about the jab, so I have to be careful. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go over the update for the jab first. Today is Sunday, the 11th of July, and they have reported in the last week that um, there they didn't this administration did not meet the goal of July 4th that they were hoping for so they are now sending authorities out to canvas and map um, and to um, go directly to people's homes uh, to, that have to see who has not received the jab um, or maybe who've received it so um, that's happening and actually uh, it's already been reported some people have reported that this is actually happening like it's already in motion so uh, keep that in mind okay so I'm gonna go over my notes uh, let's see one critical thinking that my information brought up is do you remember back in the beginning there was a whole thing about keeping it cold they had to have certain that was one of the criteria for even having it was your how you were able to keep it and once it was opened or used it had a short duration of time uh, I know of a man who who received it early he's um, in his mid 30s and at the time they were doing um, older people in his area on the East Coast and he found a place that had uh, extra supply of the jab and he was so excited we're, we're, I'm praying for this man I hope you pray with me too for him he was so excited because they were advertising that uh, if you got there and no one was standing in line to receive it you could have whatever surplus they you know it was it was open to anyone because they were worried about it going bad and they were worried about also keeping it cold at a certain temperature so the question lies and I'm not going to keep going droning on and on because <laughs> I have a lot of questions um, but um, keeping oops, keeping the temperature 
keeping the temperature uh, and also uh, once it's what's the duration of time once the package or the vial I don't know I like I said I have to be careful with my words has been unsealed can they go door to door and and uh, it's still a viable so I'm not I okay so first off I have not done this process and I won't because I don't need it um, the only vaccine I need is Jesus Christ amen and then also it this is um, something our body can recover from uh, they've seen cases of so I don't feel like this emergency jab is even necessary in my opinion and we have the we have the luxury of choice um, but for them to to be making this aggressive move to go from home to home um, causes concern okay so so the okay so my two points is the temperature and the duration of time for still freshness um, let's see uh, they want to know who has and who hasn't uh, so I think I don't know if it's a survey but it's they want to know though they're like um, getting information who has who hasn't and then also I heard something about mapping so it seems like they're going to be keeping record of of activity I'll put it that way who has who hasn't so um, it's it's a it feels very um, our medical information is our medical information and we have these rights and constitutions both uh, federal and state please don't forget you also have a state constitution as well as a state bill of rights um, check it out you can search it out and see what your state says about all this uh, they might be in violation of just your human rights your bill of rights um, but you know uh, like I said I am I'm, I'm just giving this information out and giving updates okay so the next thing uh, like I said I want to go on and on um, we know that some people have had adverse reactions and I, we pray for them but there's, there's some who have not so there, my question is also is someone going to stay like what if this person they talk to and they they agree to do it oh, mercy on them and uh, is that person who administer it even going to stick around and make sure they're okay especially if it's someone alone um, is this a healthcare provider this is a medically trained certified person because there's no liability there's no um, consequence because it's a emergency um, authorized thing so so they have no they actually have no liability if someone gets sick from this so uh, this is actually going to be a medical registered certified person who's even going to be administering it so there's just so many questions too many questions and then also uh, some of these uh, one of the jab is one one and you're done and the rest of them are two. So does this mean the person is coming back to your home to give you the second um, uh, administration of this? So questions. Okay, so I'm just asking questions. All right, we're, get, we're getting long. Okay, um, uh, let's see. And also for the ones who have received uh, this, uh, like I said, we're praying for everyone. We're praying for all of us. We're praying for pray for yourself protection uh, and I'll go over prayer really quickly at the end um, uh, but are they keeping track because unless they because it's all personal information so if we offer up our personal information then that's how they know if they don't offer up this information they don't know so that's why they think they're getting personal. They're getting personal with us and literally coming to our home. And then also this is our taxpayer dollars paying for these this act. It's paying for the people coming. It's paying for the jab itself. It's 
I don't know if our taxpayer dollars are being utilized. I have a pothole down the road. <laughs> I would love for that to be taken care of over this. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's silly. But it, it's wear and tear on your car and your, ta and your tires and your axles and, and your shocks and you in the car bouncing around. I would love for them to take, uh -oh, take care of that pothole. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm being silly. Okay, back to it. Back to it. Okay, the last is um, sometimes it's better to just get out of the way. So I'm not making any suggestions to you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just stay out of the way. I don't know if I'm going to be home. I don't know if, um, I know my um, bell has been broken since I moved in. <laughs> it has. Uh, um, I just have had no interest to fix it. Um, but also, if I don't hear, I can't open. And it's biblical. Like, um, that's why I'm going to my dream really quick. But it's biblical. When you open the door, like, remember Jesus with the five versions that um, they knocked on the door and Jesus opened the door. Oh, no, no, no. The five, um, yes, the five versions who walked up to the door who didn't have enough oil and they knocked on the door and Jesus answered the door. And he says, I don't, I don't know you to them. And they were, you know, but I, I'm sorry. I don't even think I want to open the door. I don't know them. I don't know them and I don't even know if I want to open that door and break the seal. Okay, now go, okay, so, um, and the last thing I wrote down was what is the big push? What is this big push? Um, I understand if uh, this administration had goals to meet and they wanted to meet them by a certain date because we all have goals when we like to meet them and we feel a little bad when we don't accomplish our goal. But to send out people with taxpayer money to go to home to home seems aggressive and why such an aggressive move it just seems like there's more questions it uh, it stirs up more questions you know so um, especially since we're we're in tier five we just made it to tier five where I live hooray which means we can gather uh, still with masks, but we can gather more indoors and we can gather outdoors without a mask uh, up to 75. I mean, it's for us, we were celebrating. We were real, it, it was a wonderful thing. So we just made it to tier fives. So what's the big push? Like here where we are and we are, we have been on, sorry, full on lockdown, full on lockdown almost this whole time. I feel bad for restaurants and businesses and movie theaters. Um, uh, just made it to 50% of uh, two months ago, you know, it is It's been tough. So we are good. We have less than like 10 cases We were, we were good. So I don't know. I it just feels like a big aggressive push. Okay, so that's my notes Oof. All right now um, I Want to go over the dream that I had and I will share it in the link but I was given a dream, and I've actually shared it um, twice before. The first time I shared the dream was um, the original time in 2018. And then the second dream, uh, I mean the second time I revisited it, it was in 2019. Uh, now the first time I had the, when I shared it, it was just the dream the Lord had given me, and I didn't have um, any context. I was just sharing the dream. Uh, and it's called Alien Invasion. Oh, I wrote it down. My my apologies. Okay, Alien Invasion and the False Flag Deception. Okay, so um, what it was is I had this dream, and I'm just going to go over my notes very quickly. Um, let's see. So um, I was seeing a street, uh, like a suburb and it was um, homes and it was a dead-end street like a cul-de-sac and um, it was but it was cluttered there was vans and cars and equipment it looked like a movie set and big floodlights um, reading my notes I apologize and um, 
uh, cranes in the street, but I knew it was all false. I was observing. I was just hovering above, and I, it looked false. It didn't look like just somebody's neighborhood, you know, a quiet in nighttime scene. It looked like a movie set, and the people, but the people who lived in those homes, still believed it was. It was like they couldn't see the movie production equipment. They were just seeing the homes in their street. I was giving a different per perspective. And um, um, there was a man that was sitting on a chair and he was being held up by a crane really high in the sky. So um, I was looking at him going, why is this guy sitting in a, it was an office chair. And why is this guy sitting in an office chair uh, high in the sky uh, with all this movie production stuff and I start I watch him he's screaming yelling 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 and I can't figure out what's going on he looked like he was in pain and so I zoom in on him as the people come out of their homes and they're looking at this guy who's staring who's staring at the um, the man and I'm, I'm trying to go as quickly as I can, I apologize, but basically it was all false. Uh, when I zoomed in on him, he wasn't screaming in pain. Um, he had something coming out of his stomach and they were like this, it was like these things, like I thought it was like an alien, remember the movie Alien, the original one, the guy lays on the table and something the thing comes out of his stomach sorry sorry for graphic gross uh but that's what it kind of reminded me of but uh when i got closer to him he was laughing he wasn't he wasn't screaming well he might have been screaming to the people their perception of him was screaming but when i got closer to him he was laughing i'll leave the the video so you can see my images i'm kind of rushing i apologize but my point is um uh, the people when at one point the people went inside their home um, the man stole in the crane but the people went inside their home and they they were safe inside their home they were um, it was like once they went inside and closed their door it was like they were sealed in it was like a vacuum and once they were in their home the vacuum was holding and they were safe but then when the man started screaming and wailing and some of the people not all of them but some of the people came out it broke the seal on the door and I'm going by my notes um, so once the people they were scared and they went inside their home and once they were inside inside the home they were safe it was like peaceful inside their home and I'm still observing uh, but once they opened the door the seal was broken and they went outside once they were outside there was an authority and this is what I said in my dream there's like an authority figure outside and they uh, it says they, they gave in to the authority and they went with them freely. So this is my question. In my dream, I saw the people go inside their home, but they came out because of the man wailing about his, about whatever was going on with his stomach, um, the things inside of him. And but actually, he was lying. He, there was nothing wrong with him, but he was like the decoy. He was like a, a bait, like a worm on a hook, like a fishing line. And they were. Um, coming out to see him but they were safe in their home so but once they came out then the authority was able to take them away so I think it's very similar to what's going on now I don't know but whatever's happening happens to us internally this if you get it um, but I think this was created and I have to be careful and I'm gonna stop there because the Lord showed me it was a false flag it was false oh I can't even say that um, it was not true um, uh, it was all the deception and he was bait and the people who broke the seal from the safety of their home they were taken by an authority now and that brings me to is it one jab or is it two if it's one jab then um, then uh, they're done, right? Uh, hopefully you're okay. But 
if there's two, do, do they come back? Do they need you to go again? I mean, what happens? We don't know. So I'm going to leave it there, but it's very similar to my dream about being safe in your home and then the authority is at the door. And this is exactly what we're dealing with now. So I believe this is a confirmation from the Lord. And please pray over this and take it to the Lord. I'm going to end this now. It's getting a little long. But um, I would love to hear what you think about it. And um, we need to be prayed up. Uh, you know, there's just so many questions about, you know, this temperature thing, about keeping it cold and how long is it good for. And, um, you know, the, is it even violating our rights to knock on the door anyway i love you guys i don't want to keep hashing and i don't want this to not go out i want this to be able to get out there uh, for you all to hear this because um it's important it's timely and the lord has already shown me that this was going to happen i believe in the dream that he gave me in uh, 2018 so uh i love you all i'm gonna leave it here uh sorry i didn't have a lot of images but i wanted to be careful uh please be safe and blessed and remember that god is in control he is on the throne and this has already been written our the plan has already been made by god and we know that the devil is defeated and Jesus is our victory, where our victory is in him. Uh, I'm going to pray, uh, so uh, quickly I was going to share, um, I'm going to say a prayer over my home, I'm going to say a prayer over my doorstep, and the space in front of my doorstep, and the space around my home. I'm going to pray for a shield of protection, and um, that evil can't even see my door they can't even see my home because darkness cannot be where light is that is in the bible god is light and there is no darkness where god is so there is no darkness where light is so if god is in you if you have the light of the lord then darkness can't even be near you cannot see you amen and you take the authority over that over deception over evil because they are under our feet the devil and the demons are under our feet amen because god has given us authority over them and I will leave you with that. I love you so much. And God loves you so much more. And please pray over this. Take it to the Lord. And remember, we're going home. This is not our home. And Jesus is going to be coming back for us very soon. God bless you all. Take care. And we'll talk soon. Bye for now.